Now in this video we're going to go ahead and take a look at how to actually view all the data that I've entered into my tables. And so there's a quick keyword we're going to use and this command is going to be select. And so I'm going to go ahead and type in select and I'm going to put the space bar there and type in the asterisk which is the shift 8. And what this is going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to select all my fields. The asterisk is going to kind of work as a wild card for us. It's going to say select everything. Select every field that I've got to work with. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And the last part of this command is basically just to say from what table. So I'm going to type in the keyword from and space and then now type in the table that I want. And so I'm going to do books to begin with. And I'll go ahead and end that with a semicolon. So it's a real simple, quick, easy way to view all of your data. I'm going to be using the select command in several other videos and we're going to get into some specifics on how to pull queries out of our tables. Um, but for this particular video, we're just going to look at to see how they use the select command just to view all of the data. So I'm saying show me everything from books. And if I hit run, you're going to see that it's going to pull up and it's going to bring us the entire table that we've entered in. Now by default, Oracle here and, and using the Express Edition is only going to display 10 records and so if I hit the drop down arrow here I can choose um, a larger number and I don't have I've only got 11 records in here so I'm going to hit 100 and then I'll hit run again and you'll notice now that it shows well, let's see it's showing 10 of them 11 rows returned let's see what we've got here uh, I can see it actually returned 11 rows and I've got all 11 of them on there it's just they're not in numeric order of my book ID so they're a little they're out of order and we can arrange the order which we'll do in another video how to show you how to do that right now I can just actually see all the content and you can see the different books that I've entered into my basically into my table now if I want to change it from books and want to see something else like publisher there we go publisher and hit run you'll see all of the information under the publisher table and then again if I type in author which is my third table that we've entered in so far I'm going to run that I can see all the information from the author table so in this video we just use a select command with that key key symbol that we've got a wildcard we've got for the asterisk for everything from the table we wish to view and I hit run and I can actually see the entire table that I've got so this video is a quick one how to show, show us or view all of my tables data